Hello, so in this one, I want to show something really interesting because basically right now I'm gonna use this idea in every single build that I'm gonna upload. So listen carefully. So basically right now I have a frost strike. I'm doing called element and I have nothing else, right? But I also have blood explosion and the only way to prog blood explosion is to actually inflict bleed stacks. And there is no way to in inflict bleed stacks if I don't have bleed rate and I don't have physical damage. So right now with, such, with the Zodiac changes, basically any build can do, can do any type of damage and at the same time apply bleed, venom or burn. It just depends what you pick up on zodiacs. So I want to sh I want to show this basically right now. So the main idea is is this one. My main skill is called damage, but I have node called palm of nature that deals additional physical damage to 5% of damage on every hit. With this thing, I basically solve my physical damage problem on Cold Elemental build. However, this is not enough, right? I have my physical damage, I need some way to have bleed rate or dot rate. And that is solved by Fruit Shock. Plus 3 bleed rate. You can also pick up Bountiful Rage, but Fruit of Shock is not the single bleed rate uh, node that you have on the zodiacs. If you write down bleed rate, you're gonna see there is uh, quite a bit more. This is another one, Fragment. You don't need too much bleed rate, but for, for the status, it's a good idea to do it this way. So basically right now, if you check on the training dummy, I'm just gonna pump a little bit. Not too long. I have both my Blood Explosion active and Illusion Axe active. You can see I'm generating Fire Energies, Lightning Energies, Earth Energies, and I'm gonna stop it right now. And you can see I proc my Blood Explosion even if I'm doing Cold Damage. So basically this is the main idea. And by the way, there is a reason why I'm using um, Lightning Energies, is to basically get status effect rate. This helps with the bleed, venom, and everything else. Remember that one. So this would be the main idea. At the same time, you can actually do, you can actually get free shock. If you get additional lightning damage, I don't know if I can search this. Yeah, for example, if you go in here and you pick up some shock rate, then pick up uh, additional, additional lightning damage on every hit, you can also apply shock. And another thing is, you don't have to do this with Zodiacs. You can get that additional damage of any element on your, even on your Zodiac stones, you can get it on your Lacrima, on your main weapon, because this is basically what it means. It's 5% damage jump, or even more. So this node, in the essence, it increases your damage as a damage jump would, and you still get additional ways, additional mechanics that you can implement in your build. So that would be the main idea. Same way would be if I would convert my Frost Strike to physical damage. Let's say I convert my Frost Strike to physical damage. In that case, I don't need any more additional physical damage, but I still need to get bleed rate. And there is another funny thing. If you're gonna convert your Frost Strike to to physical damage, you will you you will have to get chill and freeze rate on your zodiacs. It sounds weird, but when you do conversion on an element, it actually disables everything that is connected to the to call to called element. So, for example, these nodes that says freeze chance, freeze rate would not work when you convert to physical damage. You will have to get that on Zodiacs. 
Same would be poison rain of arrows would be another example. If you convert it to physical, you no longer can venom your targets from the poison rain of arrows itself. So you would need to get some venom rate on your zodiacs. Keep that in mind. Yeah, but that's basically everything I wanted to say. I wanted to share this because this is gonna be on every single build guys on every single build right now especially if you have opened up some skill boards slots shit yeah if you have opened up some skill board slots with the with from crystals i, I freak I, I froze a little bit but yeah so gds have fun and see you in, in the next one.